Monday. I'm Maria. Welcome to Monday Morning Joel. Let's get started. Good morning. With us here today is Steve Franks. And Steve Franks is a very popular person here in town <laughs> with a lot of young entrepreneurs and people who has ideas. Right? And he's a very young guy too. That's correct. Really young. Really young. <laughs> uh, and you know, we both have a similar background. We go to the same barber. Same barber, right? So Steve, I know one of the things that you do is um, with two of your partners is the founders, right? Yes. Tell us a little bit about founders. So uh, founders, uh, I'm, I'm a co-founder, if you will, of founders along with Ray Angel and Ryan Himmel. And founders is a free co-working space downtown Fort Wayne, 614 South Harrison. What we do there, we provide uh, table spaces for people to come in, bring their laptops or other stuff, and just do some work. It's for like independent workers, entrepreneurs, creatives, freelancers, and people like that. We felt that there needed to be a place here in town, uh, probably downtown, that's why we chose it, we love downtown, mm -hmm. that was free. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, something that didn't cause you to have to pay Five hundred or a thousand dollars a month for a mm -hmm. for a, a room, if you will, or a lease. Mm -hmm. So, how is uh, co-working different from virtual office? Uh, virtual office, I'm not sure exactly what you mean by that, but co-working is very simple. You can just come in and leave whenever you like. Uh, bring your stuff, sit down in your table spot, mm -hmm. and, uh, and and go. And the other thing that's different about it, I think, is that it's very collaborative. Mm -hmm. uh, there are people here all the time working together. You'll see them get up and they'll leave and they'll go into one of the front rooms and maybe take a dry erase marker and write on the windows or something like that. Mm -hmm. Or come in here and use the whiteboards mm -hmm. and, and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So if somebody's not an entrepreneur, how, how does this apply to them? There are a lot of people that are here that aren't entrepreneurs. There are a lot of people here that are independent workers. Uh, there, there's a trend toward independent workers today as opposed to companies hiring employees and sometimes they don't have office spaces. Mm -hmm. So instead of working at home, you can come and work here. Mm -hmm. uh, we have people that range from artists, uh, we have a novelist that comes here, mm -hmm. we have people that manage bands, mm -hmm. uh, we have people that are photographers and videographers, mm -hmm. and we have people who just write code for a living mm -hmm. uh, or make websites for a living. Mm -hmm. uh, not all of them would consider themselves to be entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. So before Malia gets to the, the <laughs> other questions, I just want to tell that uh, Steve wrote this book, right? I and did. he is also part of many other business ventures. I have a lot of little side ventures. Yeah. I, I, I need to take my own advice someday and become more focused. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what is this book, uh, Steve? Uh, this book is called Innovation Rules and Tools. Mm -hmm. uh, it comes from one of my past lives where I did some innovation consulting for about six years before I joined the Innovation Center. I know that sounds weird, before I joined the Innovation Center. Yeah. So it's kind of a total of some very practical handbookish kinds of advice and practical tips and tools to use if you're going to grow your company through innovation. Mm -hmm. And tell us a little bit about like the other companies, like just, just name a few names. Uh, I have a little product called MyFast Financials, MyFastFinancials.com, InnovationRulesAndTools.com, mm -hmm. that, uh, that you can find. MyFast Financials simply does projections mm -hmm. for companies that are starting to build a new company or a new product or an expansion. That's interesting. I like yeah, that. I, so, I, I like your nose. Uh, can you tell us why Mondays are great? Well, I think Mondays are kind of like a reboot time, if mm -hmm. you will. Uh, I mean, so to me at least, uh, although I, I happen to be here like I think seven days a week, <laughs> it still seems like Sundays is a, is a time for a little bit of rest. And on Mondays, it just gets to regenerate and it starts all over again. The people that I don't necessarily see as much here on the weekends, I see yeah. on Monday, they start trickling in. And it's just kind of neat to be around all the people again and reboot the week. I like that. That's neat. Uh, what do you do to kickstart your Mondays? Uh, not much that's different than what I do any other day. I, I get up in the morning and I, and I, I go through kind of a little routine that, mm -hmm. that uh, kind of practices you know, various mental 
things. I, I, I know that sounds kind of weird, but I practice optimism. In the oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, one way to kickstart any day, which I'm, I'm, I'm trying to become better at, and just you know, I'm, I'm working on, is to to actively be optimistic mm -hmm. and do that a little bit in the morning, and uh, so that just helps me out every day, Monday's included. So, like, if our audience has to get one advice from you, right, and you know about our show. From a business perspective, give us like one little advice that they can use practically every day. Go fail. Go fail a lot. Go fail a lot in small ways and then just get better from them. Uh, just do not be afraid to fail and in fact encourage it. That's an awesome advice. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing pretty good at that. <laughs> do you have an adage by which you live your life by? Wow. You know, I don't really think that I do have an adage that I live my life by. Uh, I, I do try my best to be entrepreneurial, and so I, I, if, I, if I had to make up an adage, which I'll, I'll try to do on the spot, it would be that, you know, we're all in charge of our own lives, and we, we don't need to, to wait for someone else to do anything for us. Mm -hmm. We can take charge, we can go off, and we can make it happen ourselves. Mm -hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. I, I really like that. That's good. Thanks. Steve, if you were to have, like, this is kind of like out of the realm question, if you were to have a superpower, what would that be? Oh, jeez. A superpower, <laughs> huh? You want to be jeez? Uh -huh. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think I would be well, one of two things. I think I would be either no bullshit guy, so the guy that would, when he sees bullshit happening somewhere, he just press the <laughs> button and eradicate it, yeah. or maybe the same thing with injustice. I hate injustice. I'd like to, to be yeah. able to just press a button and make injustice go away. I, I don't think we've ever heard those answers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, we haven't. Yeah. Tell us something about you that would surprise people who know you. Hmm. Most people that know me don't know that uh, I used to be, not anymore, mm -hmm. say that uh, I used to be a pretty uh, passable juggler. Uh, I spent a little time doing that back in the day, if mm -hmm. you will, and uh, had a lot of fun doing that. Made some trips to, in fact, a juggler's convention out in Santa Barbara. It was a whole heck of a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And uh, just don't do it as much today. Oh, okay. Juggling. Juggling. So, why, why not now? Just got out of the habit. Oh, okay. So anyway, Steve, the most important question is like, how do people get hold of you? Very simply, you can go to the website at founders, atfounders.com. Mm -hmm. One of the important things to do once you're there is to look for the, the menu item called chat, or just go to chat.atfounders.com and kind of join in on the conversation with all the people that are here at Founders. Oh, very nice. Uh, so we'd like to thank uh, uh, Steve for coming and joining us today. We are in fact recording at Founders today. Um, so we suggest you come and check out this location. It's right here in downtown. This is Monday Morning Jolt. Use it.